Hey y'all, and welcome to the 14 Acres. My name is Leslie, and today I'm going to take you along as I go and collect eggs from all the different nest boxes and thought maybe we would talk a little about which chicken lays which egg. That is probably one of the questions I'm asked most often on Instagram. So let's go check the nest boxes. So I've put a few pine shavings in the bottom of this basket just so the eggs won't roll around. The lighting is not great in here. Let's see if we can make it better. Like we do have some, ooh, look at that one. Some really pretty eggs. We'll pull them out and then we'll take them out in better light and see what we have. That one has a really interesting pigment pattern on it. Hey, Ivory girl. That's my best girl, Ivory. Hey, Ivory. So we have a pop door here that is on a pulley system on a rope so we can open that pop door from the outside and let the chickens go from inside this barn coop to out in the barnyard. But for now, let's finish collecting these eggs. Lighting affects the colors of these eggs more than you could imagine. We'll pull them out in natural light, sort of in the shade under the barn, and talk a little more about each egg and who laid what. Ooh, there's that big plum egg. So I'm out sitting under our barn, sort of pole barn, trying to find good light to show y'all the ac like an accurate depiction of the colors of these eggs. Okay, loud chicken. What you doing up there, crazy? Crazy girl. So these are the eggs we just collected in the barn. This one looks like, that looks like a peck from a beak or possibly a chicken stepped on that. But this is a F10 or F11, um, 10th or 11th generation olive egger. This is probably the most gorgeous speckle of the day. So these are from Marin's. These and these. As they go through the course of their laying cycle, the eggs get lighter and lighter. This is from what I like to call a Marin's mix. In certain light, it is really plum and purple. So basically this is a an olive egger that was back crossed to a Marin's rooster and this is the percentage of the female offspring that did not lay olive. So I call these girls Marin's mixes because they're really um, expressing more of the Marin side of their genetics. The geese want to say hi. Hey! You can't have eggs. 
No, no. No, see, Rosie. No. <laughs> they have a lot to say. Hey. This is pretty. And now I will head down to the other two coops and see what's in those nest boxes. So this is one of our coops. One side of these long runs that we have here. That's my little brooder run back at the back. And we have these two coops in these two side-by-side -side runs. These are the eggs that I just collected at the barn. And we'll see what's in these nest boxes. Gorgeous. So these are both from Black Copper Girls and this is from an Easter Egger. We'll take them out in some better light without all the glares and shadows here in a second. And here we have another Easter Egger and another Olive Egger. But we have Easter Eggers here. This is from a Delaware, sort of a tent. Sometimes it has a heavier bloom and it's more pink. This is my favorite little pullet at the moment. Then these are all different generations of Olive Eggers. So this is it for today, y'all. Aren't they pretty? Lots of gorgeous colors in here. Today's beautiful egg rainbow.